I know what time it is. You know what time it is. It is scripture of the week. I know it's a little late, but better late than never. Y'all know we still going to get the scripture is no matter what time it is. Um, we are actually going to be reading from Isaiah chapter 30, verse 21. And it says, And your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way, walk in it. So y'all know, I always have to give a little background because I feel like in order to understand um, certain scriptures, you just can't read that one part of it because it can you can possibly take it out of context and then not know um, what it means. So just with the backstory of what this what's going on in this particular time in the Bible, Isaiah is a prophet. He's a true prophet. Um, called by God and the people of Judah are under attack from the Asrian people and as they are under attack they are trying to um, come up with their own plans on how they can uh, have a alliance with Egypt meaning they wanted to have a contract with Egypt for them to protect them from the Asrian people but while they're making their own plans, God already had a plan worked out for them. God already had a defense uh, to where he was going to uh, have them protected. But instead, they wanted to come up with their own plan. They wanted to do their own things. And that's the background story of this. So when you have that background and then you go to the scripture, going to verse 21, it says, In your ear shall hear a word behind you saying, This is the way, walk in it. If you read further down, like the whole chapter, basically, you can see where this is where God is even being gracious. Even in the midst of them wanting to come up with their own plans, doing their own thing, God is still gracious. God is, God is faithful even when we show unfaithfulness. That just shows what type of God we serve. And then if you... If you compare this to modern day lives, I say this a lot. We always try to come up with our own plan. But I don't care if you write your plan down from A to Z, the time. I mean, it could be on point. I don't care how long you've been working on that plan. If God has a plan, that plan is going to override your little plan. You on work, you on stayed up all night writing. If God wants something to happen a certain way, then it's going to happen a certain way. So I think what's really important to take away from the scripture is that when God has something already planned, when God already has something orchestrated, trust in him. Trust in what he already has planned. Don't be so quick to, oh my God, what am I going to do? If you trust in God, you say, God, what are you going to do? So I hope this message encouraged you. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Make sure you tune into the One in a Million Show on 1320 AM WCBG. And also keep in mind that the new drop of the One in a Million Apparel is coming soon. So God bless you all and I hope you have a great week.